Thank you, Kratos. Our journey is far from over, Pandora. By its end, you will not be thanking me. I know I look it, but I'm not a child, Kratos. I've seen many terrible things. I'm not afraid. I understand what lies ahead. I saw Zeus torture my father. I saw him beaten because of me. I should have helped him, but I was afraid. Hephaestus did what every father should do. Protect his child. No! It's all my fault. I failed him because of fear. Fear is its own kind of darkness. In that darkness, I heard what the gods said about me. They called me a monster. Words mean nothing. Perhaps. But in their words, I heard fear. The fear of an ash-covered warrior. The fear of you. As the fear in the gods rose, mine was replaced by hope. Hope is for the weak, Pandora. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. This is what hope delivers, child. You should learn that now. Here we are at the end of the labyrinth. The final and rather difficult fight. You have to deal with sirens, shielded legionnaires, and wraiths, and minotaurs. Your main worry might as well be the sirens and probably the wraiths. The sirens because of how they can take your magic away and how the Graves can attack you from a distance. How much of a pain the ass would be. One thing I learned is a new strategy for sirens. That I wish I learned before. You can jump, you can, if you get them into the air, you can just toss them into the ground by pressing circle. And you can do it infinitely. Well, nearly infinitely. Until the circle problem appears over the head. It's also probably worth it to deal one hit in the air. As for the Legionnaires, they all have shields when they appear. And it will spawn like after that first Siren dies. So it's probably worth it to also try and damage the other Sirens before the Legionnaires appear. Wait, no, they're not Legionnaires, they're basic undead. They're oddly not really affected by the shockwave caused by the sirens. Of course the ram is always a good idea here. As for the minotaurs, you should be used to them by now. They haven't spawned yet, but... The root, but... Oh, the raves have also appeared. You should be used to them as well. You just get them into the air and then you spam out the circle. The most annoying thing about them is probably when they throw stuff at you and when they go underground. As long as you remember what I said about the labyrinth, like the maze trophy, the this shouldn't be too hard of a trophy, and the labyrinth itself shouldn't be too hard. As for the as for getting health and magic, there are no health or magic chests in this fight. There are some hidden one hidden chests, but they only give you open. It is very worthwhile to go for the circle kill on Minotaurs and the Sirens. That's your only way to get health and magic. But I don't get as why Raves no longer give you magic. They would in God of War 2 and I think God of War 1. I probably mistaken I'm God of War 1. The 
the undead are only are at the most annoying and probably dangerous is when they have the onyx shield. I've been able to get a glitch where I can damage them while they have the shield. It was odd. This is most definitely one of the longest fights in the entire game, if not the longest. And this probably has the most amount of enemies you'll find. Most Minotaurs, most Sirens, not the most undead, and the most um, raids. Minotaurs are probably the easiest to deal with, not counting the undead, because you can just, because undead you can just grab and press triangle to deal with. I'd say this fight lasted around 9 minutes for me, like complete. And as always, the mean row is pretty good to, do, to take out the shields. Something else to also learn on the Minotaurs is uh, getting him in the air is a pretty good way of taking him out. Like, get him in the air doing a couple of air combos and then using the circle to bring him down. Then getting a few extra hits on them on the ground and then being the whole process. One thing you should also be careful of is Pandora. You can you can grab her even in combat, and you'll be vulnerable, completely vulnerable. So yeah, remember, your air combos will really help you out here. Especially when the sirens try and steal your magic. You can actually glitch out of that where they steal your magic if an enemy hits you, and you won't lose your magic. I would say this is probably equivalent to the inner pan pantheon from God of War 2, which is the last fight against enemies before Clotho. Only far and away easier. This fight would be much more difficult if there were enemies like Talos, let alone the bronze Talos. Along with probably centaurs, chimera, etc. Yeah, I guess they probably brought in some of the easier enemies to deal with. The enemies that you can just like cheat. A brief glitch stack to like I got him out and then he went back in. I'm actually surprised at how decent this came out. Like I didn't start losing health until much later. Like around a minute or so ago. One also one useful thing about this fight is the enemies are not always gonna be focusing on Kratos. They're gonna be focusing on Pandora, partly. Despite the fact that she's completely safe and invincible. If you don't want to deal with the undead, like, they may for good, like, they can really help with how you can use them for battering ramps, and just use your circle and triangle since that insta kill them. At this point, you're almost still in the fight. There's like. Just remember your strategies, and. Don't you. Oh, don't. Use too much of your magic. You're gonna get a complete refill after this. Your rich Sparta is good, but I would not recommend it. You will need that much later, and it will come with much better use then. I also forgot to note that the sirens can actually still try and hit you when you're in the air. Like sometimes their like little wave orb things will go in the air at you. I can't really think of much else to say. You just have to not screw around too much. You can block just about everything tossed at you, except for when the sirens try and steal your magic.
and you've just completed the labyrinth. Oh, well, more or less, we just have one small last thing to do before we're done, and before you can possibly get your amazing trophy.